Okay, so this is gonna be my French Friday for the week because I did film a little bit of Thomasine walking around. Just thinking about saving that for when she comes on the podcast. Obviously things are changing rapidly, don't know what's necessarily gonna happen in the near future, so I might just edit that and upload that, you know, sometime soon so you have something fun to watch around Paris. Uh, but I wanted to talk a little bit about, like, uh, so the, I can't say the name of the disease because I'm sure YouTube will crack down on that. You know, when I tried to post that video about the Louvre, it took like a day for it to go up. It felt like the, I had to re-upload it without the, the C word, not the C word you're thinking of, Hopefully, the, you know what I mean. Couldn't have that on the you know, the video title uh, or in the description or anything. It would just completely block it, which is understandable. They want to limit that to actual news organizations and so forth. And I want to start by saying, like, don't panic. Of course, as soon as anybody says don't panic, that's like the first thing you want to do. So maybe that's not the right way to go about it. But, you know, everything is... Well, I don't really know for sure, um, but I thought I'd talk a little bit today about where I'm at. Obviously things have changed, and tonight things might change again. Um, yesterday with the U.S. blocking flights out of Europe, or not blocking flights, but blocking EU citizens from coming into the country. And then uh, Macron's going to have a speech tonight, and I don't know how that's going to change things necessarily. There's some trepidation that, you know, we're on the verge of going the way that Italy went. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not an expert. Make sure that you're going to places like, you know, the CDC and the NIH for real information, be listening to experts, try to parse through it for yourself, make sure to wash your hands, all that stuff. Like, I'm just going to say that up front because, like, yeah, don't ask me. And don't worry, I started the video with a little bit of, like, music and some nice Paris footage. I did take some footage on the way home today that I'll put at the end so that it ends on a little bit of a lighter note. Uh, but I thought I'd share a little bit of my thoughts, what's going on, how it's affecting me, how it's affecting uh, some of our projects, like... Uh, the book. So we had a good meeting today, for example, with Eric. Thank you, Eric, if you see this, uh, who beta read the book, Sea of the Unknown, which we kickstarted a few months ago, and are planning to release this summer. And it made me feel a lot better about the book itself. But it's probably the last time I'm going to actually meet up with Richard for the next couple of weeks because he has kids. I don't know. I feel very responsible. Like, I want to make sure that I, I'm, I, for all I know, I'm carrying the disease. I don't know. I've been around a lot. I've been traveling. Like, I have been feeling under the weather. Found out that I had strep for who knows how long and got that taken care of with some antibiotics. But I still feel kind of under the weather. Not sure what's going on. So I'm going to kind of isolate myself a little bit. Sorry if this is a bit rambly. But we did meet this morning. It was really good. I feel really good about the book. I'm going to get it out to you if you need some. Uh, reading while you're social distancing. Hopefully that'll come to you sooner than later. And hopefully the printing process and everything still goes fairly smoothly. But with all the travel uncertainty, for example, I was planning on going back to the States. I was hoping Richard could come with me. Obviously, if this is just a 30-day window that uh, he would probably not be allowed into the country, we don't know if that's going to extend or not. Kind of changes the plans potentially. Like, I haven't bought tickets for it yet because I also need to fly back to the States to sign the books that uh, people paid for. Originally, we had, you know, we had different ideas of how that would work out. I was going to actually fly to where they're printing the books in Minneapolis, sign them, and then I was really hoping to do a little bit of a book tour, you know, bounce around a little bit. I'm not calling all that off. Like, I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Obviously, we need to see how things are going. But from everything that I've been uh, hearing from, like, the experts and so forth, this is just the beginning. So we don't know what it's going to look like. And so I'm trying to make sure that I plan accordingly. And I'm fortunate enough that I can work from home, even though there's that balance because I want to go out, I want to make videos in the city, I want to show you the city, I want to continue to go and explore. But I also have the, the freedom to do that less. And so on the social distancing side, I'm not going to like become a total hermit. I think I'm going to take uh, the next few days pretty easy. I'm still going to go see some friends tomorrow. But I have decided not to go to like the exercise classes I was going to go to tonight and tomorrow. Just for the time being, just seems... Uh, I guess I want to play it kind of cautious. Like, I'm not panicking or freaking out. <sighs> Google's freaking out, though. Google's miserable at understanding when I'm actually talking to Google. Sorry, Google. I'm complaining about Google a lot lately. I don't know. I'm, I'm not freaking out or, like, super worried. I guess I'm more worried on a systemic level. Like, that's why we canceled our trip to Tokyo. With the travel stuff, you know, you just want to make sure that, uh, I don't know, on the one hand, like, where I'm not particularly concerned, there's a lot of room for caution and some concern. And it also seems really wise to me to do my part to kind of take a step back and help to slow the spread of things. Like we don't, we won't have a vaccine for at least a year is what they're saying. And so washing my hands and coming into a little bit less contact with people is my way of helping to slow the spread, right? To flatten the curve, you've probably heard of that. And so I'm trying to do my best. There's a, why do they, they need to oil that thing. I'm kind of all over the place here with this, obviously. I've been thinking a lot about it. And like the more that I hear from experts that I respect and people that, uh, 
are sensible people that are trying to be conservative with their estimates, but are also trying to be realistic with the math in front of them and the statistics that they have. Uh, it just seems like it's wise to to listen to them to try and avoid public transportation for the moment. I'll be going around Paris on my bike. I'm still gonna get out, I'm still gonna see the city some, I'm still gonna find some good footage for you, but I think I'm also gonna try and work from home. I have a lot of work to do for the book, writing that, but it also means that like, for example, on the tourism side, there's, a, there's definitely gonna be a big hit. So my friends like a bike about tours are definitely struggling. I have friends at a competing company, Fat Tire, who you've probably heard about. There's a big struggle there. Like tourism is drying up very quickly here. So all my friends in tourism are facing like no clients, basically. This is already a problem with hotels and so forth in the area because of the Asian clientele from China and Korea and everywhere that had definitely shut down their travel earlier. So the, there was kind of a pre-wave of that in the hotel industry. Now a lot of the tourism stuff that would be focusing on Americans and Australians Australians and other Anglophones in particular are definitely seeing a decline. And for us, like Kate's been really helping me put together a series of smaller guides. So I have my main guide to Paris and then we're doing spin-offs. Like where I was going to call it the 15 for five. I'm still going to call it the 15 for five where you get 15 places, like 15 bars, 15 bakeries, 15 thrift stores, like 15 different specific things for five bucks where there'd be some, a little bit of overlap with my main guide, but like more of a concentration on that. And then a lot of Kate's take on it, like a lot of Kate's inspiration for that. We've had a really good time going out and collecting the photos and the information, trying to figure out when they're actually open or closed because you can't trust Google for that. And so we've been putting all of this together. And right now I feel a little bit conflicted because on the one hand, I wanna make sure to encourage you to continue to patronize local businesses. Like I'm not gonna completely withdraw. And I'm gonna make sure that I go out and you know, continue to hopefully have a coffee here and there and a beer here and there. Uh, but I'm also gonna try and be very careful about how I do that. And so I feel a little bit conflicted because I don't want anyone to feel pressured to travel. That is a source of my income. It's, a, it's taken a huge hit. Uh, my guide sales have definitely gone down. Um, and that, that was also, so that was already something that had gone down after I stopped vlogging daily. But I've seen another reduction of that recently. Uh, so there's a conflict there because like obviously I want to sell more copies of my guide. I was looking forward to selling these mini guides. But odds are good that they're just not going to sell very well now anyways if people are canceling their trips. And also like I don't want to encourage people to travel necessarily when like all these experts that I trust in government agencies are saying to cut out all unnecessary travel and to try and you know just let's just stay calm and, and stay put for a while. I'm not going to tell you not to travel. That's not up to me to decide that. Please don't ask me in the comments below. I'm not going to be, I've been avoiding and not responding to any of those requests for personalized recommendations on what you should do in the case of a pandemic. That is up to, I would listen again to the NIH, the CDC, the World Health Organization, people like that who this is their expertise and the way that they make their living. But from my side of things, like, okay, like it's time to kind of hunker down and figure this out. I've been wanting to cook at home more and even though I don't have a kitchen, I do have a hot plate that Rob bought me a while back and that I stopped using because I put my bed up and I usually would cook right in front of the window. But then Rob got me a washing machine. Rob, you're coming through for me like crazy here on the COVID situation. So I am thinking that I'm going to put the hot plate on my washing machine and cook some pasta there. So I bought some pasta. I have some food. I'm not, again, gonna totally, uh, I'm not gonna go to the extreme on the social distancing, but I am gonna take, I'm gonna try and take it seriously because I think that it's one of those moments where it's very easy, it feels very surreal, and I think it'd be very easy to just brush it off and keep going out, which in a way we've kind of been doing anyways, and I wanna try and take it a little bit more seriously and I can still be productive, I can still work from home, but I mean, I also, in a weird self-serving way, like I've been needing to slow down for a long time. A lot of you have been telling me that for a long time. And so I'm kind of thinking, okay, well, I'm, I can still update you as to what's going on in my life. When I got in Paris, I can show you what's happening. Like, streets are very quiet lately. Um, things have really quieted down in the city. People are, a lot of things are gonna start shutting down soon that haven't already. Sporting events have been disbanded. Large gatherings have been disbanded. Um, so there's a lot, there is a lot that's, that's happening, it just feels very surreal. And I don't want to become a current events person with that because I also, I'm not an expert and I don't, you know, I, it's not my, I'm not a journalist. So keep looking to the experts for that. But I think that that's the case. So right now, like we'll get to the place where we can pre-sell the book of how I got to Paris. Eric thought it was great, Richard loves it. Uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it too. We'll work towards that. If there are any problems, I'll communicate through Kickstarter and here, like with signing the books and so forth. We might just have to, if you want to actually get your books on time, we might have to skip that. But we'll, we'll see. There might be, I might still be traveling to the States in a few months. 
might still be able to, you know, do some a book tour or whatever, but like I don't want to jump the gun on that and like who knows? We everything's moving really quickly. So I guess ultimately I'd like to be able to look back on this time and my mentality now and and think like, oh, I kind of overreacted, like, oh, I didn't really need to pull back that much and oh, I didn't, you know, it, that, that'd be, that's fine. I'd rather not like just kind of brush it off and then look back and be like, why didn't I <laughs> stay home when I could have easily stayed home? Yeah, I don't know. We, we don't know. Things could change. Like I said, tonight Macron's gonna uh, make an announcement. I'm gonna put this together and, and upload it for my patrons before uh, that happens. So, you know, we'll see what kind of effects that has. But already just having uh, the announcement made about the EU 30-day uh, travel block, whatever, has had a direct impact on how people are acting here and how uh, everything is kind of coming together. Whether or not it was a good decision or a good way of going about it, it uh, is having a real impact. And so I imagine whatever Macron decides to do tonight is going to have an impact as well. And we're, you know, next week could be a completely different world here. So don't freak out if you're traveling. Be smart, be safe, wash your hands. If you're already here in Paris or if you're not gonna cancel your trip, try to be smart and don't be zoo. Uh, I'm trying, instead of shaking hands or whatever, we're doing like elbow bumps. So you wanna bump elbows. If we meet, we can bump elbows, that's fine. We're talking about doing little kicky things too. I don't know, we're, we're trying to keep it light, but um, but also trying to be cautious and, uh, and res I think for me, respectful of the fact that there are a lot of people that are at risk. My camera being the delightful piece of garbage that it has been lately, just stopped recording for no reason there. So I'm gonna leave you with some delightful spring footage of the city. And of course, my patrons are probably gnashing my teeth that I didn't mention this earlier, but if you'd like to support my channel, everything I do, you can always jump on Patreon at patreon.com slash Chase Swanson. It makes a huge difference. It's changed my life. I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna give a shout out to my super patrons on Monday. I've already done that for Monday's vlog. It's weird that I've filmed the end of that video before filming this video today. You know, it's all confused, but really appreciate you, my patrons, thank you so much. And the rest of you for just watching. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate that. But it makes a huge difference. And obviously with things slowing down and with the guide sales and so forth, toning back, I should definitely make an appeal to come on over, join Patreon, get early access to the videos, vote in polls that affect my life, assuming I can go back outside again sometime soon. And, you know, I'll throw some wallpapers and stuff your way here and there as well. We're figuring it out. And we're also going to be opening up a space for you to hang out with other people that watch these videos, talk about Paris, your trips to Paris, the trips you wish you were making to Paris that you had to cancel from Paris. You can plan your future trips to Paris. There's going to be a lot of space for discussion. We're working on something there too. And patrons are going to get early access as well as some special perks in that. So just to, to pique your interest maybe a little bit, but I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever it is you are. And I hope you enjoyed these pictures of Paris or these last few spring images. I'll see you bright and early Monday morning with my regular weekly vlog.